Here we're looking at problem number eight in the central limit theorem homework. We're going to use R to help us do that calculation. Here's the setup. We've got a distribution that we're going to be sampling from. We're either going to get a one, two, three, four, five, or six because we're rolling a die. This is a discrete distribution. We can find the mean of that distribution. It's just going to be the average of one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can find the standard deviation. We'll use uh, a function from R called the variance, the VAR, of, uh, of those numbers. And then we'll just take the square root of that to give us the standard deviation uh, that we're sampling from. We're going to look at samples of size 80 the, from the central limit theorem. They're going to be essentially normally distributed. The mean of this distribution, the mean of, the, of those averages, is going to be the same as the mean that was over here. The, the mean of the distribution of sample means is going to have the same as the as the mean of the original population. And the standard deviation of the sample means is going to be the standard deviation of the original uh, population divided by the square root of, of n. So let's build those things here in R. We'll do that in the following way. I'll build an object called x that's going to contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there we are showing you what x is. We could look at the mean of x. We've already calculated that. It would be 3.5. We could look at the variance of x. Curiously, in this case, the variance and the mean are the same. Now, that's, that's unusual. It just that's just by chance here. Uh, so we'll take the square root of the variance and that's going to be uh, this standard deviation over here. So I'm going to make that an object. I'll call it sigma. And uh, maybe the quicker way to do that is just to pull that up. And I'm going to make an object called sigma. Uh, so that's this amount over here is 1.870 or something or another. So now we look at these samples of size 80. We look at the average of each of those. If that average is less if, if than 250 divided by 80, if we get something less than that amount, then we're going to need at least 80 rolls of the dice. So the answer to this question is just to find this area back here, the probability of getting something less than uh, 250 divided by 80 in, uh, in this situation. So I just need to use the p-norm function. The p-norm of 250 divided by 80 in a distribution that has a mean of 3.5, which is uh, the mean of whatever x is. I'll just ask R to recalculate that. And it has a